She don't like Atlanta, so I flew her to the coast. She ain't like that bitch, so I bought that whole ghost. She ain't like the rich, but that's where that home go. She don't do less, but I saw she do We got more. London on I the track. I saw she do the more. more. She do the more, she do the more. Hey, hey. I saw she do the more. She do, she do, she do, she do, she do. She do the more, she do the more. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today I filmed the Instagram baddie tutorial. Um, it's not really much to it. It's a pretty simple look, but um, from what I know, it's basically like eyebrows on fleek, lashes popping, highlight leaking, um, and then like a matte nude lip. Um, this is just my play on it, and oh, can't forget, you know, it just laid. Um, so yeah, this was basically my take on the Instagram Betty video. And of course, you know, I had to put on this top because can't be a Betty without this top. <laughs> no, let me stop. But yeah, um, this was pretty fun to film and this is women of color friendly or like dark skin friendly because you know dark girls we get down too you know we can be instagram baddies okay <laughs> but yeah um so if you want to see how i got this look then just keep on watching okay so i'm just gonna jump right in with my brows I'm just using this razor to shape and clean them up. Next, I'm going to go in with my Pond's Moisturizer. I've been using this for a few months, and I really like it. It keeps my face super moisturized, and I always apply this before I do my brows. Now, I'm just going to... Fill in my brows, I use the NYX Eyebrow Gel in the color Espresso, and I'm using the NYX Above and Beyond Coverage Concealer, and I just use that to shape my brows. And as you can see, I just went on and did the other brow off camera. Now I'm going in with the Nivea Postman Shave Balm. I've been using this for maybe a month or two, and I really like it. Next, I'm just going to take this LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color orange to cover my dark spots and just blend that in. Next, I'm taking the L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation and mix it with the Black Radiance Foundation to get my perfect shade. And I've been doing this for the past couple of months as well, and I really like how this turns out. Because the L'Oreal is just a tad bit too orange for me, so I just add a darker foundation to get the best foundation for me. And you just want to blend it in down to your neck, so there won't be the weird transition. And I just continue to blend, 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 pat and blend until I have the flawless coverage. And I also take that foundation right above my brows so I won't have that ghostly look above my brows. Next, I'm going in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn, I believe. I usually use toffee, but I ran out of toffee, so I'm using Fawn. And I just apply that on my cupid's bow, my chin, under my eyes, a little bit on my forehead because I don't like to highlight my forehead that much, and down the bridge of my nose. Then I just take my Real te Technique sponge and use that to blend in the concealer. And you just want to make sure you blend the bottom part of that concealer so when you go to contour, it'll blend seamlessly. Next, I'm going in with another LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Dark Cocoa. 
and I just use that to contour my cheekbones and my forehead and I also take it down the sides of my nose but just a little bit and to blend that in I just use my Real Technique sponge and I just use like a dabbing tapping motion just to blend it in with the concealer and another tip is if you have on a headband or like a scarf you just want to push it back a little bit so you can get right at your hairline because you don't want to have like three different colors on your forehead next I'm taking my Laura Mercier loose translucent setting powder and I'm just setting all the places that I highlighted, which is my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, under my eyes. And for the summer, I actually like to bake because I get really oily, so I just prefer to bake instead of just pressing it in. Next, I'm going, going in with my NYC Liquid Liner. This has been my favorite liner for a while now, so I'm just going to do a quick little wing nothing too fancy or you know just a basic wing liner so next I'm just gonna go in with my Maybelline the Fossies mascara and I'm just going to coat my top lashes. Next, I use my eyelash curler and I curl my eyelashes upside down. Just because they're so curly, I just want to flatten them out. So it'll be easier to apply my false lashes. These false lashes are Broadway 138. And I'm just using my Duo Lash Glue. This is like the saddest thing ever, but I actually just learned to do my lashes this year. So, you know, I'm still kind of getting the hang of it, but I'm doing so much better. So I'm just making sure the lashes are as close to my lash line as possible. Now I'm just going to dust away the Laura Mercier powder and use the excess powder to set the rest of my face. Now I'm going in with my Black Radiance Press Powder in the color Rich Mahogany with this BH Cosmetics fan brush and I just do my cheekbones and across the top of my forehead. Now I'm just taking this Wet n Wild liner in the color Black and lining my lower lash line and applying mascara to my lower lashes now on to my favorite part is highlighting i just took two wet and wild palettes i forgot the name of them but they will be listed in the description box you know you just gotta do coats on top of coats on top of coats like just bathe in the highlighter Okay, next I'm going in with my NYC liquid liner. Just to add to this Instagram baddie look, I'm going to add beauty marks to my cheek and my nose. Now I'm going in with the Wet n Wild liner in the color Simmer Brown and lining my lips. Then I'm going to take this Milani Amour Matte Lip Cream in the color Adorable and apply this and just blend it in with my lip liner. 